All right, guys, Scott Grove here. Um, as you can tell by the title again, I've got people asking the age-old question, how can I get some more sustain out of my electric guitar? Um, I'm going to give you... This is a... This is a Scottyism. Is it all fact? I believe it to be because this is just my observation and I will put it and say this is Scotty fact. So it, it comes down to this is my opinion uh, based on just what I know. Um, so this is not the end to anything other than maybe you can listen and learn something. And maybe you won't learn anything. You'll just argue. I don't know. But here is what sustain is like. It is exactly like the moment you are born. From the moment you actually take that first breath outside, Mama, you are dying. That is sustain. Okay? That's it. There is no more sustain. It gradually decays and dies just like we do okay so as it is dying there's no miracle thing that keeps it going that isn't artificial just like a pacemaker or what have you um, there are all the artificial things like compressors the um, Fernandez sustain sustainiac pickup Ebos, just loud feedback. You get in one point where the X is on the stage and you point this way and then you point that way and um, the guitar string is given inertia, meaning a sound wave that is so moving, so there are actually waves in the air that you're holding an E and then this big E note that is feeding back throughout the room uh, makes every acoustic guitar in here bing 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 all the notes going everywhere that's all that is that is not sustained from seven and a half weeks ago when I last played that acoustic that string was just re-energized it's not adding sustain you just re it's inertia um, false inertia or this is real inertia but it's fake sustain is, you know, vibrato, you try to squeeze a little more out of there, but that is not sustain. That is inertia. It's just adding it to it, trying to squeeze something out of it. So that's like taking a bow and just keep going like this. That is not sustain. That is you just constantly adding inertia to it. So the sustain thing is nothing that you can just simply increase. All you can do is uh, know that things take away from your sustain. You have a note that will last seven to ten seconds. Do you need it to last any longer? There is no reason for it to last any longer. Um, if you're the kind of person who needs a note to last more than seven or ten seconds, what any guitar would give you, then you're going to use one of these toys that we all buy that make it sound like it's lasting longer. I will show you a few things around that seem to do a little better than others, but um, unless your guitar is just flat out dead because the strings are rusted and crusted and you got Play-Doh sitting on the top of them, um, you should be doing fine. So the best thing you could do for your guitar sustained is to put new strings on it. Beyond that, the race comes down to uh, the way it's built and the way... Um, that string is going to react to that guitar. Like I said, all you're going to do is try to lessen things that are hindering the sustain. Okay, things get in the way. Uh, pull the hair out of my head, lay it on the guitar that's laying here. If I threw the hair on there, it would kind of slow it down a little bit. Um, if I put saddles on it that are made of bubble gum, that would hinder it a little bit. Okay, so you just start off with the best you got and try to... We don't. We only have a certain amount of things. This, this isn't that hard. <laughs> but the thing that is giving you the best sustain is going to be things that are hard. Okay? If 
Do you have a string? Some people are like, oh, I need heavier strings. No, you don't. Well, then you got a high E. You're like, okay, I need to go from a 9 to a 13. Ah, why don't you just hit that 42 gauge low E string and see if it actually sustains more? That went real thick. I mean, you've got five other strings to choose from, so <laughs> think it through, kids. Okay, I'm going to try not to make you sick by moving this around as I usually do. But here's the instrument that sustains the most. Right there. Pedal steel guitar. Okay, and I'm going to show you these few examples. This thing sustains longer than anything I have here. That is an electric guitar. It makes it kind of funny that the first electric guitar that was a solid body was actually a steel instrument. The old frying pan was actually a lap steel. Okay, take a look, kids. This body, I mean, this is hardcore steel. Look at this stuff. That is steel. Look at these. That is your bridge. Everything is touching the next thing. That is heavy duty steel. Then it is just a string attached to a little thing there. And that is it. Okay. It goes along and does nothing. Until it hits a roller nut. Ten rollers made of steel. Steel attached to a headstock made of steel. Okay, and any note that I hit on here, I'm not plugged in. You don't have to be plugged in to hear sustain. If you have to be plugged in to get sustain, then we're talking about two totally different things. Things just go forever. Uh, twilight Zone. Anyway, so this sustains a lot longer than any electric guitar does that I've ever owned out of 3,000 or whatever. Um, again, when I'm done playing it, um, and I might walk away and throw some stuff on it like this. See, that didn't even hinder it. They're laying like that. That might cause less sustain. Okay? Again, it's not going to keep sustaining more. There's no way to make it sustain more unless you just hit it again. It is dying from the first time you hit it. It will never get louder than that. That's it. And then when you do play it, that that you hold in your hand that's a heavy ass steel bar this is steel 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 strings are um steel <laughs> they're not nickel they're stainless we got steel we got roller <laughs> rollers going on no other material. This is steel rollers. Everything is rolling. Everything is steel. Top to bottom. Blah, blah, blah. And again, there is nothing between these. They all are connected and ring together. Blah, blah, blah. And when you put something on there, what is it? A big steel bar that does lessen the sustain, but not by any, but not by much. <laughs> so, that is it. A string dies from the moment you start playing it. Okay? And the few things I was going to show you that can be helpful is here is a Babix bridge here on my, what is it? The Telebird by Crook. Okay? Heavy duty. We got mass. Um, everything rolls over top of these, kind of like that over there. It is not a roller system. 
But that other thing, it has a roller um, nut, not a roller bridge, but this does kind of like the same thing and it's all one just huge mass thing. Okay, the other thing, um, some of the guitars are different. Okay, the, the closest thing I have to show you in guitars, I'll just set this one on top of that one. Maybe I'll set 10 guitars on top of each other. Pardon the uh, ride with this again. I just, I have what I have to work with. Okay, again, the back of this, this is aircraft grade aluminum. Does that headstock look slightly familiar? It looks like over there and it's that same temperature. It's cold. Did I keep it cold in here? You don't have a roller nut. I don't know if I said roller bridge or whatever. I don't ever know what I say over there. But we do have the zero fret instead of some plastic or bone thing or whatever. And of course I have many guitars that have the rollers and so forth. But that's always less of a hindrance than a different material. At least it's the same as these. Okay, so again, what do we got? Well, it might as well be steel. Um, here's a bad thing. I'll point out two bad things. Um, Gibson and Fender both. Um, the one underneath here again, the Babix. Oh, uh, there's enough light there to see. It is flat out 100% all the way against the body. Same as that pedal steel guitar is. Every last bit of this thing is living on the top of this guitar. Okay? And everything's touching. Everything's touching. <laughs> uh, these love being on top of each other. Anyway, guitars that have, you know, like fenders and stuff, that have that kind of a saddle. Um, I'm going to say there's not a whole lot of transference of energy through those little tiny screws go into that metal base plate. They're like, hey, that'll be cool. Let's keep that flat against the guitar. That'll do something. But yeah, but it's got these little tiny legs, you know. You, it's like olive oil on Popeye. Got them little bitty legs. You can't. How can you walk on them? There's no support. Without support, there is no sustain. It's not picking up. It's not adding sustain, that's for sure. It could be a hindrance. I bet it is. I'll, I'll bet it is. And even as bad, I've only got one or two Gibson guitars left. I finally sold my last Les Paul. So, um, let's see. I've got this Explorer left <laughs> and that's about it from the gibson camp because i'm just sick of that stuff think again here's the same deal you have this can i even get in there yeah underneath of these crappy bridges okay the strings are going across these little tiny things that can't do anything but hinder the sustain because it's not going over some kind of big, huge thing, mass of anything. It's going across the a knife point, basically. Okay, and what's that doing? Well, not much, but it's got these little things under there. And these, right there. Underneath all these tunematics and ABR bridges, they got some more of these little um, olive oil legs. So that's what everything's being transferred through. Again, that's all your strings separated, not touching like they do on the steel, not touching like they do on that Babix bridge. They're all separated. Nothing is touching anything. They're very skinny. And then they just don't touch anything. And then after this wheel, they go in this little tiny skinny thing and go into this little hole there and I'm gonna say that doesn't do jack crap for sustain either so there you go that's about it I'm just gonna hope those guitars just kind of stay where they are okay and up here okay you got nickel 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 and bone or fake bone or give your dog a bone um, but that right there 
is going to detract from it, from your sustain. So it is not adding sustain that you can do, because you can't. It is impossible to add sustain. It is easy to take it away, that's why you think you have no sustain. Because your axe has a lot of things on it that are just simply hindering its life. It's like having a heart attack. Okay, so he put this on there. Now it hardly has any sustain. So that was just a heart attack. You just cut the life in half. You know, you, you let your string set out in the rain. You know, then it sounds like you're playing flat wounds in, you know, 15 minutes. Um, so that's it. That is the Scott Grove theory of sustain. And I'm going to leave it as theory. But that's the best guess I can give you out of my little simple mind. Again, it's just like being born. It, it's going to die. And it's got a timeline. That timeline is average 7 to 10 seconds. Give or take a few because of life gets in the way. It slows it down. Um, you creak when you get older and you, things go by quicker when you get older. So, same with strings. Once they get real quiet, it just seems like it disappears real fast. It's still going, but that's it. So, again, what I showed you with the pedal steel, nothing is stopping that. Those strings are going two to three times as long as any of these are on their best day. So start with a fresh pair or you know, set of strings and just look at it and see what makes sense after those couple examples. Okay, so that's all I've got for you. Again, compressors, distortion, volume, uh, sustainix, vibratos, whammies, whatever you want to call them, and other little um, physical or manifested trickery is not sustain. That is manipulation. That is not sustain of your string. Okay? That is, again, just a manipulated energy. You can't add energy back to a string that is <laughs> naturally dying. That's what they do. Okay? So, uh, peace be with you. And um, somebody go shoot that. Kim Jong-un guy, and you guys be groovy. Talk to you soon, alright? Bye.